to Aru Kakaku no Railgun T or a certain scientific Railgun T is licensed and produced by Funimation. Studios JC Staff, Networks ATX, Tokyo Max, BS11 and MBS. Based on the works by Kazuma Kamachi, please support the official release. Hello to Jackie with more Tarakaku no Railgun T. And the last time, well, by the way, this is episode 7, and the last time was episode 6. That's how math works, or rather numbers. And last time, we had uh, the two girls, <laughs> one eye and Avatsuki, maybe something. I'm not sure. I I feel like it's something with A, that's, that's starting with A. But yeah, anyway, the two girls uh, versus Baba, effectively, and his hound dogs thing. No, wait, those, those were the hound dogs, those... Completely different group, but the dogs, the, the mecha dogs. And they rack chop with him, basically. And then Mikoto seriously rack chop with him. Because, well, yeah, I mean, she did kind of presume that he was, on, like, working for Misaki. Because, you know, the whole mind control everybody thing. So she was lenient. Had you known that he was actually just a douche who, like, kicked Kongo, Kongo down because he's a douche, things might have gone a bit different. But, so, yeah, fine. Also, uh, probably more delays incoming as far as the series is concerned. Last I heard, they're gonna skip two episodes? Like, for the next two weeks because of coronavirus-related stuff? I'm not even sure if that's still, like, act still actual factual or not but that's the latest i heard and well you know if there's an episode i'm gonna do it <laughs> i'm gonna do the episode if there isn't that i'm not just wanted to throw it out there in any case let's go to the episode well i think this is not a blind reaction i do know the manga source material so there's that although it's been like you know nine years since i've read it so in any case now into it in three Oh, that again. Fine with me. <laughs> I would almost say poor him, but... No, fuck this guy. <laughs> And with that, the hunt for Misaki goes on, eh? Not that he had any to begin with. I mean, yeah, he technically does work for the dark side, so, you know... They wouldn't exactly want to leave information behind. So yeah. By the way, I'm just sort of gushing over the fact that this is like episode 7. And we're still in the middle of this arc. Like, I, I realize that light novels and manga are very different mediums. And that a manga might have longer running arcs. All things considered, but... I mean, come on, Index 3. <laughs> I know you were rushed, but still. Three episodes per arc. Or, you know, five for what is effectively two arcs in one. Which brings it down to 2.5. And even, like, putting aside Index 3 and just looking at the other two seasons, they generally are a lot more, like, compact. Which is probably why... Looking at the animes only, Railgun generally feels like the better one. Because it has a more coherent flow. 
Not to mention that for the previous two Railgun seasons, like half of them were just filler anyway. So they pretty much could take up as many episodes as they want for the one main arc. Or like a couple main arcs and then just, you know, pad the rest out. Yeah, I suppose that's still going on too, <laughs> technically. The freaking queen thing, though. I love that she's actually that they just genuinely call her that. Those blowout girls. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I suppose Sutton would perhaps know, like, the general rumors spreading around around the level 5 and whatnot. Also, yeah, I suppose you could call her out for, you know, Realizing that Misaki could manipulate memories, but not connecting that to herself in any way. But who would, really? I do love the scientific breakdown. Like, everything in this entire universe always tries to explain its things as reasonable as possible. Even magic. Do give credit to that, okay? Hmm. That cat sure has a good memory. I understand that she just explained how this works, but still. Someone give credit to that kid. It's been through a lot. Like, look how like well behaved it is. Like, my cat, my cat will fail as soon as a stranger approaches, gone forever. Do you not? <laughs> I wonder if she's manipulating the traffic lights. <laughs> I know that had. Oh great, you didn't you didn't even remove the memories of the mother. Well, that's Academy City for you, I guess. Also, wow. Privacy, go fuck yourself. <laughs> but There you go. No problem.
Well, she's got a point there, I suppose. Also, they're sure getting a lot of, like, people dragged in with Mikoto there. Which is, like, the main reason why she usually does things alone, too, but still. You, yeah, you could say that. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> so yeah, give her all the credit there. <laughs> okay. So how are you going to go about finding her? I mean, she doesn't have like one of the fancy tra trackers. <laughs> oh yeah, thanks. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's somewhat awkward. F quite familiar with? Okay. Hmm. Well, you've just been repurposed as one. With the voice messing thing again, that's like... I dig that, honestly. Mold is pretty much, you know, like... Not gonna pretend to pronounce that. You know, confirms the whole being involved with your friends. <laughs> the lap, sister laps, I guess. Went belly up. That's somehow a nice way of putting it. I don't know why. Well, I guess props for like cleaning up that well then. Yep, I suppose there's a bit of a point to that. It's kind of a messed up place, really. <laughs> Hmm. 
And I suppose your noble goal then is to overturn the status quo there? Also a fair point, honestly. So, you know, basically revealing that even if you attack... There's two. Although I would wager that she can actually take out two people at once. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That's somehow like a little look there. Oh. <laughs> oh, seriously. <laughs> Well, that was a nice rescue. Although I really don't exactly know what Mikoto's plan there was. Well, I suppose you kind of have to do that. Close one, eh? <laughs> so not much of a girl. It's nice that you generally always have this easy out, so to say. Basically, it's just like, nope. <laughs> she noped out of there. <laughs> Maybe she got out of reach? Well, go figure. So, you're probably more looking at for someone else, eh? Well, seeing as you're kind of the third party here, and I doubt they're going to bring in any new main characters at this point. Probably Misaki then. By the way, you're fine without the wheelchair. <laughs> Just kind of noticed it now. <laughs> I 
In all honesty, her ability really is somewhat broken by all the little side necks they're just giving her. <laughs> yeah, and you know, she also just kind of proved perfectly how well she knows every one of you <laughs> and what you're gonna do. Hmm. <laughs> That's a sweet smile. <laughs> well, not perfectly fine with the wheelchair, I guess. <laughs> yes, very, 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 very unwelcome. <laughs> oh, you have no idea. <laughs> yeah, about the thing in Majigger that you know, apparently. Yeah, it seems kind of all about confirmed. Of course there's a legend about it. Yeah, because, you know... Plastered with fakes and whatnot. Then she did kind of find it, but, you know, got that memory erased and whatnot. Putting all the pieces together on. <laughs> I love the sparkly effect in the eyes, though. Somehow. I mean, okay, first of all, how does zapping the keyboard work? Okay. I mean, what what is pixeling out her face like that supposed to do, really? She has a completely unrecognizable figure, if not for her eyes, right? That's how this works, or somehow, or something. <laughs> Like, my problem just now is, why didn't she have we how to, like, erase the data? And, I mean, it's not like Uyodo would have some sort of backup that she herself couldn't disable if she really wanted to, or be made to want to. So yeah, basically we have our three parties established now. We've got the Mikoto party, we've got the Misaki party, and the pink hair, well, purple haired girl with the liquid metal party, who's really only one person that we actively know of, since Baba is out of the picture now.
The end, except for the preview, right? Yep. Okay then. Well, I'm a bit of a rush, so let's have this over with real quick. I mean, well, this episode was kind of just, for one, establishing, a, well, making a connection with the third party there. The first meeting, like, sort of between Mikoto and her. As well as piecing together all the, all the puzzle pieces, the dots, so to say. Sort of realizing that A, the girl didn't work for Misaki, and B, that Misaki is clearly up to something. Well, I mean, up to something, we knew that already, but, you know, Urban Side, that, and the memories of the cats, and whatnot, and the people realizing that perhaps they've had the memories messed with, so they've forgotten all about Mikoto, and so on and so forth. So, yeah, we're getting somewhere, aren't we? And as I said before, said just now, I kind of, like, got to get this over with, so sorry, that's gonna be all for now, until next time, see you then. Bye.